America fell in love with Gabrielle Douglas when she won two gold medals at this summer's London Olympics. Now she's opening up about her tough road to triumph in a new memoir, Grace, Gold and Glory. There it is right there, and it's so great to have Gabby right here to talk about it. Thanks for coming in this morning. Oh, thanks. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. And thank you for bringing these big medals as well, the two big gold medals. Oh. And, 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 you know, we're looking at that now, but I read in your book how close you came to not even going to the Olympics. So what happened? About seven months before you just lost your fire? Definitely. I was very homesick. My family came and visited, visited me for Christmas, and I wanted to go home with them because I hadn't been in home in so long. So I wanted to quit and give up the sport just so I can go home because at the time it was very hard, very tough moving away from my family. So Christmas rolled on very fast, so I wanted to leave. So what did you tell your mom? I actually... I wrote up a text message on my note, and I showed it to her, and she was just heartbroken. She could not believe it. You said you were going to, what, work at Chick-fil-A, wanted to be a singer? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to get interacted with the other sports like track, dancing, and work at a fast food restaurant. So how did she convince you not to give up? She sat me down and we had a long conversation and she told me to always keep fighting, keep pushing. I'd rather you come home as a fighter and a winner than for you to come home as a quitter. That is in so many ways the story of your life and you, you open up about it in the book. You fought against so much. You grew up for when you were a little baby, your family was homeless living in a van yep. for a period of time. You also uh, were a victim of bullying and even racism in school. How did you fight back against that? It definitely made me stronger, and to this, to this day, I mean, I have a forgiving heart, so I forgive them, and I move on, and uh, hope to, you know, I wish them the best, and it definitely made me stronger and motivated, motivated me to achieve my dreams. And one of the most complicated relationships you've had to deal with, the relationship with your father. Hadn't seen him for many years until he showed up at the Olympics. That must have been so difficult to deal with. Yeah, it was, really was difficult since he wasn't really in the picture. And, I mean, I'm a normal girl. I go through normal stuff, and it happens. And all the stuff that is happening now is so good, though. You're on a bit of a whirlwind right now. The last couple of months, you've uh, actually gone to the White House, met President Obama. I heard he gave you some souvenirs as well. Yes, he gave me a pen and some presidential M&Ms. You still have the M&Ms? I ate them. <laughs> Not even a couple, a couple with the presidential seal you didn't save. I guess they are pretty good. And you also, we all watch you on Dancing with the Stars. Yes. The Fierce Five showing up to help Sean out. That's got to, that must have been fantastic. It was a lot of fun. And we had so much fun performing on the stage with Sean and Derek. So what is, what is next? I know you're, you know, you're on the book tour right now, going to have a little break over Christmas, but gymnastics still in your blood, right? Yes, I'm hoping to attend 2016 and get back into the gym, get back into the swing of things and just gain more. I want to go to more world championships and I think it would be very cool if I attended two Olympic Games. It would be cool for all of us as well. Bring some more medals home oh, yeah. to match those as well. Thank you so much for coming in oh, today. Thank you. The book is called Grace, Gold and Glory. It is in stores today.